sorry there i was startled for a second um welcome to my channel and i don't know i have nothing to say <laughs> i wanted to um try out the punch board you know my brain is not working today at all so let's see how that goes and um my fiber is killing me and i was in the middle of painting my nails as you can see, I finished one hand, but not the other hand. And I decided I can't do this anymore. I have to do something else because I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. Fibro is a, I want to call it a really bad word <laughs> because yesterday I was driving to Joanne's and on my way back at a red light, I had no idea where I am. Fibro just completely deleted my brain. I didn't know where to go. I was at the red light and I didn't know, do I go straight, do I go left, do I go right? What am I doing here? And that was so terrifying. But enough of that. I had my daughter with me, so nothing happened. <sighs> pinwheel. I love pinwheels. If you watch my channel, you know I do. I love anything that's like a wand or something like that or a pinwheel. And um, this is the pinwheel punch board from we are memory keepers and i got it at tuesday morning there's the number and the price and it says it has a corner punch cutting template and swift swivel blade whatever it is i would assume it's this but i don't even know how to pronounce that so and it says Perfect for parties. Yeah, I'm throwing a party like every weekend, so I need the sponge for sure. And it says it has an instruction sheet inside. And adhere pinwheel with the brad or pinwheel attachment. Okay, I don't have nothing like that. We just want to make pinwheels. And we can make three inch, seven and a half, and 15.75. So, I think... Just because this looks too little for me with my fingers today, I'm going to go for the middle one. Create pinwheels in 20 different shapes and sizes. 20? Okay, I see. I better read the manual, right? So there is the manual. And it says you can create 3 inch, 4 and a half, 6, 7 and a half, 8 3 fourth. 10 inch, 11 and a half, 13 inch, 14 and a half, 15, 3 fourth. That's what you can create. I don't know about 20 different sizes because that's all I chose. <laughs> but that's fine. That's fine. I see it's supposed to be pretty easy. Let me see this one. Instruction for nesting pinwheels. Oh, that looks pretty. So you can actually do two and then have them inside of each other. Okay, that's cool. Determine pinwheel size using chart. Okay, let's see, what should we go for? I'm gonna go for seven and a half inch because then I need a six by six inch paper and I can just use one off a paper pad, right? I don't have to cut anything. That sounds good. And I do have the paper pad I'm using for my mini album. And I'm just gonna go with a piece of paper from here. And a friend of mine sent it to me and I'm so happy about that. So thank you so much. Look, I can use it for different things. I can make a pinwheel. Now, of course, I need to choose the color. <laughs> Let's go with this one. Why not? This is marble. So this is six by six. Oops. Of course, this one is stuck. I'm not going to get it off there right now. Let me see if I find another one. This one is good too for a pinwheel, I feel like. Okay, so we are going to do the seven and a half pinwheel, right? Six by six inch. Okay. Trim paper, paper size according to chart. Did that. Open cutting arm and punch all four corners. Okay. <laughs> Open cutting arm. That's the cutting arm. And punch all four corners. That's all it says, actually. It doesn't say, like, do something. But I would assume, because this is the only punch here, it looks like, that that's where I punch my corners. It looks... Kind of right. Do I just rotate it? It doesn't say it, but I will just 
rotate it. I'm guessing here. I love it how some people were, you know, brands or companies just assume that you are smart enough to understand everything they say. You know, like when they say open cutting arm and punch all four corners, they assume that you know that this is a punch, which not everybody knows. You know, if you never had a cutting board like this or any punch at all, you will go like, oh, what do I cut my corners? Maybe I have to use my knife and cut here. So, you know, I don't know. And then to tell me that I have to rotate it would be nice probably if I am a absolute beginner, but that's fine. We got it. Now, align the corner to guide coordinating with paper saws. There is a guide. There is another guide. So pinwheel A, pinwheel B. It doesn't say if I'm making A or B, but however, I'm going to align this with my six inch. There's my six inch. Close cutting arm and cut slit from corner towards center. Okay, close cutting arm. Woo! What is this thing here? Okay. So it's not so oh ha you have okay you didn't see that but i tried to push this down and then i didn't know what to do but actually there is like this thing right here which pops through your paper so you have to push down i was just wondering what is going on here so it actually holds your paper in place kind of then i have to Wow, it doesn't say where I have to put it in or, you know, but I'm assuming because I'm not a very, very, very beginner. But if you are an absolute beginner, you probably will have to figure out where to put it in. But you put it in here because that's the way where this one can move, say. And then you cut it towards the center and it only goes so far. Rotate and repeat for all four corners. Okay. Can I rotate? Oh, I can rotate it without taking this piece out, which is good. Okay. Even though I had six by six paper, it's not exactly straight here, but that's fine. Okay. <laughs> that was good that I started doing that. It might take my mind off of everything because I have to think about what I'm doing here. Okay, be careful to not to cut yourself when you put your blade next to you. Trust me, been there. <laughs> cut myself already before. Oh, come on. Just go in there. Okay, I think I have all four. Due to user error alignment. <laughs> no, due to user error alignment may not be exact, but this will not affect functionality. <laughs> so that's my error, you know. <laughs> Fold each corner to the center, overlapping corner. Yeah, now you just make a pinwheel. But I need a brad, of course. Okay. Let's just get a big one so we can work with that. So now all I have to do is, oh, that's actually pretty easy, I would say. Do I like it this way? Do I like it this way? I think I'm just going to go this way. Okay, so you fold everything in the middle. What I like to do is to fold it this way. I like to put it into a hole and then connect the next hole and the next hole because I think it works easier with the bread like this. Or you can fold it all in the middle, whatever you do. I'm not sure I've never made big ones, so that might be even easy. Look, I'm having a pinwheel right here. Now I just have to figure out, uh, you will need a big bread for this. Just saying, because the hole is not very little. Oh, well, look at that, I got my pinwheel. <laughs> now I can put it on a stick, of course, on a paper straw or something like that. I like that. <laughs> look, I made one. <laughs> Yay. 
Okay, what is the smallest one? The smallest one is three inches. And for the smallest one, I would need three by three inch paper. And I still have this one. So let's just do the smallest one, just because I am having fun. <laughs> okay, I don't even need the arm here. Oh, yes. So there's something that's really fun. Okay, three. I don't know, you can like play with that and see if you can do something different or smaller or bigger or try to put your plate in here when you are not using it. I know, I'm bad. And I went to Joanne's yesterday and I totally forgot to get a blade for my paper cutter, which is not good. Okay, I need to open the arm. I'll just do the same thing again. It punches very nicely, by the way. I like that. So the only downside to this is um, to me right now, if I would have been a total beginner, noob, you know, just never ever done anything like that. I think that would be bad for me to, to realize, but they also have pictures. So I wonder what this one is. What is this one? Who can tell me what this one is? I really want to know. Oh, I know what that is. Pinwheels made from column A and B will nest together. I see. I see. Maybe we should try that too. Well, let me do this one real quick. I love it. Let's just do it. So I will align it right here. Now at least I know that this thing has to go in there. And I can be quicker, right? Okay, the cuts are very short in this because... Uh, 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 and it's a little bit harder to like move just because it's so small. Not because the board is bad. The board is really good. I'm liking this. The cut is very short, so you know. Whew. Loving this. Oh okay. Now all you have to do is just the same thing you fold fold see I don't like that much because it's very small and it's hard for me to fold you know but it does fold I promise you that it's just hard for me to fold with my broken fingers today okay how do we fold uh, 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 let me fold in the other direction. I like this direction much more. Fold, fold, and I'm going to just stick it into my bread here because it's easier for me right now. Okay. Fold, 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 open up the bread. Well, I would say this three inch pinwheel is kind of weird. I don't like it too much, but it also looks kind of weird here. So it's three inch. Well, let me explain why. The pinwheel is probably all right, but I don't have the double-sided paper here. So that's probably why. But what I want to do now, and I think that's good because I want to use this part as well. Let me see what kind of paper I have. I have another piece of paper and I'm going to do the same thing like I did. Where is it? Right here. And I'm going to see how to make like this double pinwheel and show you, I guess, because we want to see what else it's making, right? So looks like I learned already what to do, which I like. You know, it's really good if you know how your board works without having to take out your manual the whole time now i have to make one here and i have to align it by this part because then they will fit into each other i guess i guess i don't know it's just the the cut has to be different okay before they tell me that it was user 
error. <laughs> I want to line it up really good. <laughs> all right. And then I go all the way in there and I turn. I should not take out my blade probably, just push it back out. But for some reason, I'm just taking it out. Okay. Wonderful. I love it. It's easy peasy. Oops, I cut my paper twice, but that's fine. It's just a tiny little error. Okay, okay, let me push this back in there. So I have my second one. And what do they say? Let me open up this one. Because this one is ready. I will put the board aside just to see. Okay. I put one like this and I put the second one like this. Attach one corner at a time, alternating between A and B in clockwise circle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. Seriously. Okay. One corner at a time, alternating. How do you alternate? Oh, you have to stick it through this, I would assume, no? No, that doesn't work. Oh, wow. Nope. Will that work? If you stick it through here, it might. So you have to put the lower one through the slit. I'm assuming. I'm assuming here. Would that kind of work? Ooh. Let me see if there is any picture for the for that one. I do not see. Okay, let's try this again. Whoop. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's easier than I think, but so what I do see from the picture right here is not much, but I do see that the lower part, one of those was, this one is stuck through here, you know? So meaning they will probably all be stuck through the slit right here. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be easier if you do that. So can you see that? I just stuck them through there and now I'm going to, oh yeah, did you see that? No, it's much better. Attach one corner at a time, alternating between A and B. Can you tell me that I have to push them through here first? Because if I just started out crafting, I might, I might just, you know, get frustrated with the whole thing. So, like that. And you need three hands, as always, when you are crafting. <laughs> That's my opinion. You totally need three hands. I'm going to just stick this in the wrong side, just to make it easier on me. I don't know if people with normal hands, without any fiber or whatever it is that hurts your hands, can do that. But this is easier for me to have something where I can actually put them on. Okay, that's much easier for me. And I will just go one by one. Yeah, double-sided paper would be much prettier, but it does work. And I'm guessing I could just right now stick another one through this. Let's just try it to make a real pinwheel and not like the wrong way around. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to stick one just, oh yeah. See, it worked. Very good. I like that. Open up my bread in the back. Oh, I love it. Can you imagine like this would be a little bit of a different color? This one is kind of not but look, it's pretty! 
<laughs> no, I can throw a party. <laughs> I can make pinwheels and throw a party. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I don't know what it is, but um, they do get a little bit difficult to... They kind of get a little bit stuck. And I did pay attention that I lined it up, but just a little bit. It's not much. I'm pretty sure if you get them all rounded up, they will be better. Also, probably if you use cardstock, it would be better. I'm using like um, deco paper. But most of them are good. So maybe just this one is kind of weird. Maybe I did something wrong here. But all in all... It works and it goes fast that's the good thing about that it goes really really fast so I like it I like it it was what ten dollars I think we can do that twelve dollars ooh we can do that we can do that for twelve dollars right easy to use just punch and cut that's true Create pinwheels in 20 different shapes and sizes. So that's something I would like to figure out. Because I read it and I just can't see it. I don't know. I don't know. If you just turn it, I don't think you can just turn it halfway. So what are the 20 different sizes? You would have to go and research that. So 20 different sizes and shapes. I don't know. I don't know what other shape. It doesn't tell me what else I can do. That's all it says. It tells me the sizes right here. And then it tells me how to cut this size. And I get the shape. And then it tells me how to do the nesting pinwheel right here. And that's it. So this is sold separately and that's it. So yeah, if there is 20 different ones, I would like to know the 20 ones without doing more research. But that's just, you know, little parts of mine. So yeah, all in all, I like it. I really do. I would make pinwheels with that. It goes really quick. I do have a pinwheel die. I have to go and die cut it. And sometimes we are hurting. So this is much easier on my hands than my die cut. And I can just alternate the sizes, which I love too. So thumbs up. It's really pretty and it's really easy. It is easy. So, okay. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration with two different colored hands. <laughs> they look so funny. And yeah, if you did, give me a thumbs up. They have this really pretty picture too. You see? You can just put them all in there. I mean, if you want to. It's good for parties. It really is. Like for your children or something. I think it's a really good thing. Not just for your children. Fourth of July. Just use two different colors. Or, you know, the Fourth of July paper. Even for Christmas, I think it's going to be really cool. If you use, like, green and red and silver. Whatever you decorate at home. I think that would work, too. Even for Halloween. For everything. You can just adjust your paper. And get some decoration out of it. You know, just have like a pumpkin here and then stick something else inside I think that would work pretty good I would really really love to know how to make the other shapes but I will do some research I guess so like I said if you liked it give me thumbs up leave a comment down below let me know if you liked it or maybe you have it or maybe you know where to see the 20 different shapes let me know in the comments and share subscribe please check out my new channel and subscribe there too hit that um bell and watch my playlist just because <laughs> maybe you might like it if you like it stay if you don't like it then don't <laughs> right <laughs> i don't want you to subscribe to my channel just because and then never watch it because it doesn't make sense, right? So just go check it out and watch and see if you like it. And if you do, welcome. That's it. Read the description. 
I'll see you in my next video. I still have two or three more punch boards or whatever you would call this thing right here. Trimmer. So I will have more videos coming up very soon about that. Don't miss that. And I would say enjoy your day. And I see you in my next video, probably with a punch board. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.